Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Mars Vaughan Barnsey. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I haven't done a video for a while, so because I've been a little bit tiny bit busy with one thing or another. But um, so what I've decided to do for for this particular video is, uh, I, I I think the the the, the video title is going to be um, coincidence coincidence and imagination right and I'm just going to go over um, some of my Cydonia images but I'm just going to put them all together in a single video and really it's just it, it's it's just a way of showing uh, uh, the people who've been following me obviously would have seen these um, a few times I've, I've shown them at different different times what I'm going to show you today um, throughout the last year or so, and the 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 ones who've 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 been following me will mostly recognise them. But um, this is for mainly for for people who don't have the time to watch the entire big um, or all all my videos because they are quite long. So if you get a chance to watch one video, this will sort of give you an idea of some of the things that I've discovered. And it's going to be like I'm going to go over each one very, very quickly, okay? Because all the videos for all these different images are, are, are there on the channel for you to go and have a look at, okay? But it, but I've, I'm calling this video coincidence and imagination, and you know when I point these out to people, when I show pictures to people and point out my channel to people. Um, a lot of people will automatically turn around and go, "Oh, it's it's pareidolia," um, or they most of the they'll they'll turn around and say it's just imagination, like looking at clouds and and this those sorts of thing. And you know, there's an element of truth in in describing um, a lot of things like that. But where does it end? How many times have images got? You know, got to look like faces, got to look like animals, structures, statues, you know, geoglyphs, sculptures in the ground. I mean, is it is it one one or two? Say maces or landforms that that are going to look artificial. Is it three? Is it four? I mean, have we have we got a cut cut off point where we eventually turn around and say that? Well, hold on. You know, coincidence and imagination, pareidolia, will only go so far, and I and I think there is. Otherwise, we could just go on forever, saying, you know, it, there's nothing there. It's all imagination. But it'll get to the stage where, rather than being an explanation for anything, it 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 it, it, it rapidly starts to become an excuse for not accepting the truth. Okay, I, admittedly, some of these are subjective. They, they are subjective, I mean, I, I understand that. But so many anomalous features in such in, in a single image. I've never come across an image anywhere. And I've, lo I've looked at mountains on Earth, I've looked at deserts on Earth as comparisons. And every now and then, yeah, you see something that does look like a face or an animal. And you say, yeah, that's pareidolia. Because nine times out of ten, there's nothing else in the immediate area. To, to associate with it the odd occasion you might get a couple of things that look like faces or something like that but you can't put them together you can't make alignments with them you can't there's nothing coherent in them it, it might vaguely look like a face or vaguely look like an animal but in Cydonia virtually every single mesa so called mesa and landform looks like as if it's been sculptures or it's being altered to look like a face or an animal I, i'm talking 90 percent if not more of what i show and it's all taken from a single image you know and the alignments between them if you've been what if you've been looking at my videos there's there's, there's, there's some serious serious alignments front on these images and I've just given uh, very rough alignments, obviously, because the, the, these features are eroded, so it'd be hard to to place your start points and your finish points um, if you draw a line between them, very exact. But 
the, the, the alignments are there and they are very very provocative so this is going to be so I'm just going to go through each one and just basically show you in, in a single video how many different um, anomalies there is you know that that I think look like animals and people in a, in a single image it's like less than 200 kilometers across this image so where does coincidence and imagination eventually w become reality if you like that's the, the question I'm asking now I'm gonna ask where does all this end if you want to give an explanation for uh, you know you know what we're seeing it's all oh it's all just coincidence oh it's an imagination it's misinterpretation it's natural geological formations that just happen to look like a face or a skull or a beard I mean you know I'm asking the question so I'll show you and then you can um, make up your own mind especially like people that may have only just joined the channel I know there's not many there like but um, you know I'm grateful to the guys to use guys out there that do actually watch watch the channel uh, I appreciate it because I know for me you know and, uh, time is one of the most precious things that a human being's got and I always value everybody's time you know uh, value people watching and commenting because uh, I know it, it, you know we don't all have the time that we would like but anyway okay so here we have on our left on the left hand side uh, European Space Agency image of the face the famous face on Mars I'm not going to go into like loads of detail on them because I've done it all so this is just you know I'm just going to uh, go through them quickly so here we have the face right on our left hand side um, on our right hand side rather this is an image of the face taken in just the yellow plate okay so this this is CMYK this is all the colors combined to make um, this image okay the right hand side is when I've just placed it in just the yellow color and it comes out dark I have uh, messed about with the contrast a little tiny bit this was um, um, magnified windows magnifier I took a larger shot of it and then uh, I, I messed about with the, the brightness and the contrast to bring out the features because this color on, on our left is not an original color by any means I, I can tell you that for nothing now this is just I, I, you know well I mean I hesitate to say fraud and that but it's because it's all one color it's very difficult to make out details and contrasts and everything else so we are forced to to mess about with the brightness and contrast to bring out what you know the real image if you like and the yellow plate is is the clearest plate of all the colors that's got the most detail in it okay and when we put this face in the um, in the yellow plate here's what we get okay we get uh, the face of a human being which is very very clear okay and don't forget if you go and have a look at my video uh, it's only half the face is human okay and it was built perfect and it was built um, to portray a human being okay and he's not looking up to heaven he's not looking up into space he's looking down here this way uh, south southeast okay and um, as you can see it's as near a perfect portrait of a human being as I've ever seen and nobody for I don't know why I don't know why but but nobody thought just to go to the um, individual color plates and have a look at have a look at this and this is what we get you can do it yourself all you've got to do is go to view proof setup and um, go to the yellow plate and this comes up but you'd have got to put it in Windows magnifier okay so is that 
is that human face a natural geological formation produced by nature that's the question or is it an artificially constructed uh, edifice or face okay so I'm just gonna take them off there so that's the question there uh, now these aren't going to be in any particular order or anything like that okay it's just I'm just going to bring them up as a, as I find them to be honest with you now next to it okay a few miles away we have this structure okay and if you look at it carefully you can see that again we have what looks like a human face or a human humanoid face okay it's got two eyes it's got a nose this monolithic block like feature is the nose there's a v-shaped um, like decorative thing on the very center of the head okay and we can see it's very reminiscent of the face it's got a, a outer um, it, it's got like an outer outer line that shows the face and but this is again this is looking southeast the same as the face that we just had a look it's looking down southeast but I think it, it, it's it's um, a pair you know uh, an amazing candidate for another face and it's a couple of miles away to the east of the face that I've just shown you before okay so if you just um, come on to that and again I desaturated it and uh, just messed about with the contrast and uh, here we can see it a little tiny bit more clearly I think well certain aspects of it we can see uh, clearly again is this a natural mesa is it a natural natural geological formation or has it been altered by a culture that once existed here as as I hypothesize again that's the question you can see like this u-shaped structure here and this comes out and joins it it's like as if it's got a glass on or a pair of glasses or something like that but to me it's as good if not slightly better than the original face on Mars and there you have it is it natural or is it a coincidence does it just happen to look like a face okay um, right here just let me again this is in the south in the south of the image okay and this is the raw image as as published as downloaded from from ESSA okay and I can see quite clearly I mean I'm presuming that there's a lot of people out there that that should be able to see what I'm seeing because it's it is quite clear but I'm I see the outline of an alien woman okay you know and if you look here I've colored I've colored her in and you can actually see that it's quite striking in in its detail you can see the eyes you can see the nose it's got a downturn mouth you can see the mouth there downturn there's a chin she's even got bobbed hairstyle can you see that and there's the lines of the hair as well and she's got malachite around around the eyes which uh, Egyptian women used to wear it's very like black makeup to prevent reflection from the sun okay um, there's an arm here comes up and she's got hold of a long neck bottle here there's there's a hand in a lap you can even count the fingers there's five fingers and then this represents a thigh here and that's a bottom there okay and you know I haven't 
changed anything there. All I've done is just placed it in that green colour, just to highlight the the actual um, you know what I'm trying to describe to you. And as to me, it's a kneeling lady. Okay. Again, is it my imagination? Am I misinterpreting this? Is it is it pareidolia? Or does it? Yeah, has it got a chance of? Does it look as if it could have been carved by a civilization that once existed on Mars? Again, this is from the same image. All or everything I'm showing you is all from the same images, and I've connected all these, all these sculptures. I've connected them to to each other. Yeah. Uh, here, that's um, like a. Um, a baby baby elephant or something like that but again I'm not going into too much detail I'm just showing you the, the, the basics now is that a natural geological formation that's the question or is it artificially sculptured okay um, the next one is one of my favourites I just absolutely think this is just just amazing and although I'm going to show you um, these two single images you, you, you must go and have a look at the two videos I've done on this because there's a hell of a lot more to this image than just this what I'm going to show you now it, it's it's absolutely amazing there's tons and tons of stuff in that video that I did on this but um, To me, it looks like a monkey. Okay, and I've explained everything about this in um, the previous video, so you, you've got to go and have a look at it because uh, there's some interesting stuff on it. But you can see the tail here is the spine, here is the head, one eye, two eye, there's the two nostrils, and the, the mouth is open there round as if it's crying out or it's it's been aggressive or defensive okay and there's the back leg here and look at the paw you can even count the fingers on the paw here can you see that and then in the paw is a is a very very large square object which is a structure the fingers are structures okay these are structures that's a structure this here is a structure part of the the forearm of, of of the monkey is is of the front legs here see the way they blend in they're the front legs okay and it's even got another if you look there talk about monkey on your back this has even got another another animal on its back very similar to the two eyes and, and the mouth see the mouth there but to me it looks like the sculpture of a monkey okay and this may set as one of the greatest works of art in the solar system and go and have a look at the video not just a simple monkey again I've coloured it I've coloured it in so you can see where I'm coming from with this image yeah now again is it pareidolia is it imagination is it coincidence is it misinterpretation or is it a sculpture about four to five miles in length from the t tip of the tail to the head here that's the question I'm looking at that and I'm I'm seeing the sculpture of a monkey I don't and you know I, I, I haven't got any axe to grind here or anything like that that is exactly what I see for for good or worse or whatever, I that's exactly what I say. It's for people to decide whether it's pareidolia or not. And I can spin this round now and show you it in different views. And there's all sorts in the image, but please go and have a look at the video. Okay. So again, is it natural, or is there a chance that it's a sculpture? Um, right, so the next one.
I'll just show you this 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 one. This is one of my latest ones. This this was um, I found this when I was doing the fort. Um, and when I desaturated the image to bring out some of these lighter um, lighter features, this strange thing was staring out at me. You can just about see it in the original orangey um, publication from Essa. Just about see it. The average person would not see this because it's very, very faint in the original. It's only when you desaturate the image, okay, and you mess about with the the contrast and the brightness that it it it, it crops up. And again, this is right next door to the face. This this um, sculpture, the face is about here, and this is right next to it, and it's even in like a walled enclosure. See this, this to me, you, you can just about see that there's some kind of square enclosure, and I think these are walls or something like that. It's not flat here. I'm I'm sure the walls. I could be mistaken, but you know, look, you can see the eyes, the nose, you can see its mouth, and it, it's it's a it's a sculpture in the ground, but it's it looks from this vantage point as if it's standing up. Okay, again, is a pareidolia. Or is it a natural formation that just happens again to look like a humanoid? Admittedly weird, very, very weird. But there's a lot of stuff on Mars that is exceptionally weird. This looks like something... Um, I, do, I did a video over a year ago now called um, The Sphinx on Mars. And there was, there was some strange stuff on that. Very, very strange stuff. And there was a creature there that looks very similar to this. So... You know, there's 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 there's, there's faces here, um, you know, but natural or pareidolia or imagination. Um, the next one, this here, is again. This is right opposite the face. Okay, it's right opposite the face. And people have questioned it as to whether it's some kind of a hexagonal crater or something like that. But it's not a crater, it's actually raised, it's a mesa. Um, and it's raised off the ground. But on top of it, all, all the outer, the top surface has been sculptured into. Um, the profile of a human face okay now when you look at it you know just follow follow my case right so here's the top of the head here there's the nose very very pointy nose which I've shown and indicated on um, on other videos um, there's, a, there's a character there's a character who, who I've shown multiple times here in Sidonia and I've called him Seth and he had a very very pointy nose okay his pointy nose there's the mouth he's even got uh like teeth protruding teeth see this here he's got like protruding teeth this is his beard here okay and this is some kind of ear decoration i think here but his hair is like there's one two three four like there's five straight straightish edges. I know that's a bit curly there, uh, circular, but that's like his hair, and it's held together by um, by these lines, if you like. And I think that is the portrayal of a, hu a human a, a human being. Okay, again, is it natural or? Has it been built? Is it just imagination and pareidolia and misinterpretation? And this is actually looking at the face. This is uh, this is in the east, and it's looking directly at the face. Okay. But that's that's what when I see this, I don't just see a random collection of rocks. I see something that's sculptured into the ground, a few kilometers. It's and it's a few kilometers long. Okay. 
so I'll go to that. Um, this is one of my favourites as well, I love this. Right, if you look, it's a little, this is the original image, I haven't done anything to this image, okay, so, you know, it, it's not, not the greatest image, but it's still good enough for us to see exactly what's here, because I think this is the sculpture of a bird, specifically, right, a goose, I know that sounds daft, but I have explained why I think that that is a goose. Okay, if you if you if you followed my narrative on all the on all the the, the videos I've done, um, the vein that runs through everything is the Egyptian mythos, the Egyptian religion. Okay, and um, if you look very carefully, it's the unmistakable outline, in my humble opinion, of um, a bird. There's the eye. Look at the beak, it's absolutely perfect. Okay, there's the head and there's the neck. And there's a little tiny face here. And that face has got, uh, its mouth is an opening into this. I've seen that once or twice. And it's got them funny scale-like feathers. You know, these circular funny scale-like feathers. Okay. And um, it, this here is like a hawk's head. It's like a dome and it's very very eroded and destroyed but you can see that you can actually see the beak and then here it's like support structures that are that, that we can see because it's all eroded here so we're seeing the rebar and support structures but this is actually uh, the head of a hawk in my humble opinion but uh, just just one second um, This is a, what I've done is um, I change uh, I change the colours on it so that we can see some type of contrast on it rather than just being a single colour where it would look very two dimensional and washed out you wouldn't be able to see much if if you add different shades to it things start to stand out a little tiny bit better and I'm open that you can see like the eye and the head and the body yeah and uh, you can see the dome here which is the hawk's head and you can see it's all er er eroded and collapsed and this is a raised mesa right but these have been sculptured in to the mesa okay again is that natural or you know is a natural geological formation that just happens to look like a bird like a like a like a geese goose or whatever or was it built? Okay. There's the original there. Um. Okay, we'll open this one. Just bear with me, guys. You know, you know, you know what I'm like. I, st I stumble and stutter through these sometimes, but um, I'm just, just I'm not even got another image of, of that. What I'm going to show you, um, I can't see one, so it, it it doesn't really matter. It's not a major problem. But here, right, this is the original image. I haven't changed it in any shape or form. Right, this is in the south of the map, of the of the image, the ESSA image. And if you look very carefully here, you can see the profile of a face here. You can see the helmets, you can see the eye, the nose, you can see the mouth, you can see the um the the, the protective plate on the face here, and it's looking up this way 
and I said to you, uh, if you go back to my one of the previous video, I'll concentrate on this area. He's looking at the pregnant Isis. Okay, he's looking at this. He's looking at the structure that looks like a pregnant woman. Okay, and he's looking through. See, can you see this structure here, yeah. which looks like a ram? Okay, you can see the eye. You can see the nostrils. You can see the back, the neck, the head. And um, I think these are horns here, either there or there. Okay, and then next next to him here, we can see another face. Okay, and then this to me is 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 a bird. See this? This is a sculpture of a bird, and this is the wing here. And in the wing is this. Um, face and very elaborate hairstyle or 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 crown of some sort yeah and then if you just draw a line down here we can see what looks like a, a dog or a wolf okay again I'm not going to go into detail on this I'm just pointing out the broad image so we've got a face there we've got um, Osiris which I'm calling him an Osiris in his helmet and he's looking upwards and he's looking through what looks like a ram the outline of a ram here again and this is a, a bird okay with the beak the eye the beak and there's the wings and this woman here is an integral part of the wing and Isis was always portrayed as having wings in, in, in but again I'm not going to go into that too much but again is this like there's one two three four uh, aspects of this image that I think are artificial but you be the judge is that just imagination or as have these been carved out even here you can see a couple just there you can see a woman here sitting down on the throne and she's looking at she's looking at this individual here so the, the, the woman's here she's looking in this direction Again, I have done clearer images of this. I've cleaned them up a little tiny bit in the um, previous video. Okay, so we've got like one, two, three, four, and we've got the the ram here. Five, natural or sculptures, and don't forget that's a duality. That that's the the wolf on this side. There's the eye, the snouts, and um, Osiris in his helmet. Okay, so let's. Answer that one. Um, that's the skull, which is relatively famous. But I, I've pointed out su some new things about this. I've done an entire, believe it or not, I've done an entire video on just this alone, because there's a hell of a lot more to this than meets the eye. Because the skull is actually two skulls, and the one's looking. In a southerly direction, and one's looking in a in a east uh, southeast south e easterly direction, yeah. And if you have a look here, you can see the outline. Here, this platform is in the outline outline of a heart. You see that? Just look at it carefully. You can see it looks like a human heart there, and directly in the centre of it is this rosette, because that's what it is. I've explained, I've given my explanation for why that is a rosette, why this is a heart, and why the rosette is over the heart. There is a, an explanation for it, okay? And um, like I say, this is this, this is two skulls. You've got a mouth here, which is either a bridge or a road, but it's also a mouth. That's the way they used to do things. And the nose is sweep, swept round because it's looking in this direction through this round um, crater supposed to be a crater and then you've got the other face here one eye two eye there's the nose mouth looking in this direction go and have a look at the video again if if you have a look at the video that I've done on it and some of the stuff in it you'll realize that we're not just looking at random coincidence here but I'm asking you the question is this natural are these natural geological formations or 
am I misinterpreting this? Is this, uh, you know, when I say that a culture created it, am I completely and utterly wrong? Don't forget, we're still on the same image. This is just below the face. The face is up here, and this is just below the face. And I have also given an explanation for what I think this is. Again, very, very anomalous. And I, I personally, as you know, do not think for one second that this is natural. But I'm asking the question because the the video title is coincidence and imagination, and is that is that what we're looking at? Um, just let me so. I just wanted to show you this. Okay, this isn't. Um, again, this is this is in the southern part of 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 the the image, and if you look here, can you see this triangular opening here? I know it's it's quite difficult to see, but I just wanted to to put it out there. Really, <clears throat> it's like uh, it comes straight up, and then it comes down 45 degrees and it rests on these um, blocks. These are like these are like monolithic blocks along here. It's like some kind of road or trail. But can you see the entrance there? Big triangular entrance. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because it it just does not look natural at all. But again, I'm going to ask you the question. You can see the shadow. And that, if you were to stand near, you could walk through that entrance into... This is called a H, which is a bird, really. But this is like a... like dome this is like a dome here it's got a, a very strong cave on it but can you see that it, it's so anomalous and it doesn't look natural to me it looks like an entranceway and you can come through it down here it's like a road or something there like a trail and then see that round structure the structures and walls and blocks and um, I think I've pointed this out before see this tube here with the round opening at the bottom. See the way it comes down here? It's got like an oval shaped opening. Comes back up again. And if you look at this, it, there's like a, like, a, like a tunnel or a tube there. Not a tunnel. It's like a, like a big massive pipe here. See that? Again, that looks artificial. But also, as part of the contour variety in the way the, the, this culture built things, that can be construed as an eye. This is an eye. This is the head of what might be a reptilian creature. And then this is, you know, the chameleons that shoot the tongue out and they grab the prey with the tongue. Have a look at that because that's what that reminds me of. Again, I know it sounds staffed, but these built in, you know, loads of different animals. They portrayed loads of different animals all the time. And no one's ever really pointed that out. So I, th I think I heard some some lady once say, "Oh, it looks like a parrot." Oh, a parrot? I don't know where they're getting that from, but it does look like some kind of reptile. You know, this could be the the neck here, and then we have the head, and it's looking directly at us, and then it's flicking its tongue out here. It it, it looks as if it's some kind of arcology, to be honest with you, and it, it looks as if it's got like very this this must be really really old because this is broken open and it's eroded it looks as if it's been bust open to me maybe it was a tunnel or where people lived i don't know but again you know these natural nom these natural anomalies or are they constructors this again this this looks very suspicious Okay. Um, like in the south, in the south of the image, we have this. Okay. Again, you will have to have a look at one of the videos and see the full context of this. It's not on its own. It's not on its own, right? Okay. But I'm just showing them as individual images. There's plenty around this, and this is made up of different stuff. But you know. Have a look at the other, other videos but what i can see here right is if you have a look there you can see a triangular hat there can you see it 
triangular hat with with like decorations hanging off the hat see these and this the other part of the hat there right and then it's triangular part there and all these what you can see that's earring uh, ear decoration decoration these are hanging off the hat as decoration okay there's the eye there's the nose okay there's the chin the mouth area there's the back of the head there and if you just follow the line round and then you see this this bump here okay so just just come around follow the bump round and then we've got one leg there and then we've got another one here okay this is the portrayal of a pregnant woman that's what I think it is again it's a little bit subjective but I'm, I'm looking at this and I I it is a sculpture in my humble opinion okay it's got too many too many features on it that preclude um, it being natural in my view and if you have a look here you can see another face and can you see the arm here with the forearm and the fist and it's olden what um, uh, this is a musical instrument okay so you've got the pregnant lady here then you've got this guy and it even looks as if he's got like possibly a cloak on or something like that and then um, you know it comes down so the both of them are joined together here okay just um, just but I, I just love love that image okay I'll have to use that color I'll have to show you it in the, in the blue so I've just done it in a different color to try and highlight um, what I'm trying to show you okay because a lot of these features are highly eroded okay they're, they're eroded they're, they're very very ancient they're very old but you can still see the outline of them that's being carved into the rock all I've done with the colour is I've gone round what's already there you might find that the colours come off a little tiny bit in certain places but it, it, it's it, it's more or less true to what we're looking at okay and to me it's a representation of a pregnant woman that's the only explanation for this bump okay and you can see the forearm here you see the hand and holding this musical instrument okay again is it is it natural is it a natural formation that just happens to look like um, a woman with a conical hat on or was it designed and built by a culture trying to give us a message way um, okay just let me go to the, ne the next one This is I like this one. This is quite interesting. It's only only a quick one. But what does that look like? It looks like a dolphin, doesn't it? Uh, I think that's exactly what it is, a dolphin. In the process of catching something here, you can see its jaws are open. You can see the rounded shape of its um, of its head and the snout and the reason why it's a little bit um, chaotic here is because if we uh, rotate it we, we now get the the head of a chameleon Can you see that you've got the bottom jaw you've got the top of the snout there's the mouth it's wide open <coughs> and there's its tongue and, and there's its eye there's the top of its head there okay so it, it's in the it's in the process of it's about to snap its tongue out 
and and um, attack, get its prey, attack its prey if you like, because that's what I think that is. But when you spin it round, we then have a dolphin's head. It's all, you know. Again, is it just coincidence? Natural. It's in the same image, and yet again we can see what looks like an animal, two animals, either side. This again is in the same image. It's not a million. It's in the south of the image. Well, I've actually done a video on this, which I call uh, the Statue of Liberty on Mars. Okay, and you can see the lady's face here, in profile, the eye, the nose, the mouth, and um, her arm is raised. So let me. Try. I'm just. I'm just going to just. Uh, that's it. Okay, so and her, and her arm is raised up, and you can see what look like fingers here. Now, these are actually structures. There's, they're, they're actually structures, but they're being placed in such a way that it looks like an open hand. Okay, and then there's something in there. There's other structures in it, but I don't know what she's holding. Okay, but there's a body. Again, in, in the body is other structures. Okay. There's a, there's, a, there's a hell of a lot in this image, but you'd have to go and have a look at the video that I've done on it again. I'm just showing you this very quickly. This is looking south, a meter directly south. Okay, there's another face uh, in this alcove here, and its mouth is the entrance. Okay, there's a massive entrance there. Massive, massive entrance there. Okay, it's just like a platform, and you can walk up it into the entrance here. And I think there's a city all around here. There's there's buildings and roads and everything. And I even think in 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 this arm she's holding the staff here. But um, but you go and have a look at the video. But again, natural or just pareidolia. Okay. Um. Okay then, guys. Um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it there because I mean I could you know there's loads you know the there's there's that many it's just ridiculous. There's the DNM pyramid there and then opposite the DNM pyramid is, is a is a bird in what looks like um a basket or a nest. See there? Then here we've got another stylized bear don't forget these are all stylized okay you can see like the feathers in the back you can see the feathers here and this was most probably um, like a raised platform that people could walk along and you know pray or whatever I don't know but again is it natural right next to us to the DNM pyramid you know the DNM pyramid this support here is is aligned directly with the centre of this bird okay because I do think that's a symbolic bird I think this is a symbolic bird again I've done very detailed videos on these to explain what exactly what we're looking at um, here this again this is a cracking image really but you, you've just gotta you just gotta concentrate and get your eye in on it but what we're looking at is something akin to a deer right there's a tie there's its round head it may have um a horn a triangular horn here and i'm not too sure and it but the most fascinating thing about this is that it's got a, an elephant's trunk can you see its elephant's trunk there can you see that and sweeps round. It's a little bit off here, but don't forget, um, if you've been following me, you will have seen that a lot of these are walls and structures. There's structures in there, all over this. And you can see the neck. Can you see the neck there? It comes up. 
you, you know, it, it's in the shape of an animal. I think it's in the shape of an animal. You can see the skull, the eye, the yellow, the trunk. So it, it's an unusual animal. Yeah. And there, that looks uh, like the slot-like mouth. Again, go and have a look at um, the video that I've done on this. They call the Makara. The Makara on Mars. That's what that's what that video was called. Um, I think. Um, yeah, I just I coloured it in so you can see where I'm coming from. Can you see that? Its neck, and it's a very unusual, unusual animal. Okay then, guys. I think I've um, I've gone on long enough about this, but I just wanted to to place before you um, all all these different anomalous objects, like uh, which look like animals, look like faces, look like birds. You know, this is the the pregnant lady with the you see her. She's wearing a wearing a helmet with a horn there. It's got a elaborate um, earpiece on the helmet. You see a nose, uh, very voluptuous lips. There's the the fetus. There's the belly there. See, there's the thighs. It, it, there's 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 that many. Honestly, it's just unbelievable. But it's all in single image, and there's dozens upon dozens more. And the question is. Is it all imagination? Is it all imagination, pareidolia, and misinterpretation, or is is there a chance that we're looking like bird's wings with the bird on top there? You know, I'll, I'm going to leave you to be the judge of all this. So please comment on it. I'd like to hear your comments. You know, whether you think it's uh, there's something in it. Uh, there's there's uh, the 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 are the product of an advanced intelligent culture that once existed on Mars, or is it all imagination? And I've got to emphasise, guys. Right, this is all on one image. This is the pyramid there, and this is a sculpture of an unknown creature with two with two horns and a long snout triangular tail overlooking the um, the pyramid and then there's the stru there's structures there see all the structures here I have done again I've done a video on it the DNM pyramid yeah well I'm more fascinated by these these giant um, sculptures I, I just think they're, they're amazing and and this sculpture is, is actually holding to you can just see two faces there, but it's its arm, and it looks as if its and its fingers are there, and it it looks as if it's actually holding, like two humanoid figures in its arms, and it's overlooking the DNM pyramid. Is that coincidental? Again, is it natural? You know, if you look at the city here or the the temple area here, it it certainly doesn't look natural, does it? I mean, look at that bridge there going across it's amazing okay then guys I'm um, sorry to keep you such a long time I didn't really want it to be this long but I wanted to put everything um, or a lot of the stuff I've done in a single video so people can make up their own mind as to whether this is nothing but paradolian and imagination okay uh, I'll be interested to hear your comments guys so uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again soon thank you very much guys good night